I'm Mark Tenock, the president of uh, Cardinal Lowe's in Ohio. Uh, I just love this group we have here. They're all such willing and welcome um, helpers, you know, to help and do everything. I don't have to be here all the time. If I'm not here, they just take over and do it. They know what to do, and it, it's just a great group to be with. What I liked, the idea behind Lowe's was, you know, had the director where the, there's something going on every weekend. And I thought, well, that'd be kind of nice if I'm on a longer trip. I just have to find out where something's happening on that weekend, and I can go, and there's a group of people that, that uh, I'll have something in common with. Well, my plans are to spend as much time as I can at the different um, low rallies and at the different chapters. I want to meet different people from different areas and, and get acquainted with a lot of single people and it's a comfortable environment being single to uh, be involved with these other single people. If they're single and they like people and they like to travel, I guess you need to know all those things. Probably you need to need to be kind of footloose and ready to travel. So a lot of people have homes and they just leave their homes and come to the local rallies because we have so many all over the United States. There are a lot of older people because most people wait till they're close to retirement, but that doesn't have to be true because people can come to campouts uh, on the weekends if they're working. We invite you to come to our campouts and rallies as a guest. You're welcome to come and visit and talk to people and find out what's involved. If you've never owned an RV, you'll get lots of information. If you've never uh, driven across country, uh, we have seminars and a lot of experienced people that would be more than happy to help you, give you some pointers. We now have a headquarters, which I think is wonderful because people can drop by there when they're coming east and west, um, north and south. We, we have our headquarters in Deming, which is on uh, just off Interstate 10, which is, is great for traveling as people do uh, from, say, southern Arizona, southern California, going back uh, to the Midwest. And uh, to have a headquarters where we really feel anchored and can stay as long as we like, that's, that's a big advantage now. We have a campground in Deming, New Mexico that has been in existence about eight years now and it's really uh, coming, uh, coming along really, really nice. I joined because there was a registration table there <laughs> and I actually I'd heard about Lowe's many years ago and I understood it used to be in Death Valley all the time and so I just thought, well, I'm in the area and I want to go see what it's all about and meet some people. And when I went through Dimming, I had went to the high-low place. And they seemed like a really good group of people. They asked me if I was coming to this, and I said, sure. It's, it's very um, uh, enjoyable to see the number of people, in spite of the gas price that it is today, to have all these people coming from hundreds of miles. Well, I was single, and I loved to camp, and I bought a singles mag paper and I have an ad in there and my son said mom why don't you go and try it out and I said okay I will I said a bunch of old fuddy duddies I won't go back and uh, I joined the very first day time that I went mm -hmm. I had such a good time and such a great bunch of people who just had a lot of fun and uh, they bought like Lee said they become your friends your extended family, and that's the way I feel about them. I knew that, that, that people, most of them would be retired, and uh, a lot of them would be, you know, 20, maybe 30 years older, but I figured, yeah, you know, only, you know, a lot of them don't act their own age. A lot of them's like more on a hike. You know, they were like leaving me behind. You know, and a lot of them are in pretty good shape. They're pretty healthy, so. Yeah, I found it pretty easy to, to talk to them and to get along with them. So. Well, we have a lot of activities, uh, potluck suppers or going out together. In Deming we go over to Mexico once a week and enjoy dinner together and all that is great fun. And uh, we also have dances in the evening and all whenever uh, music is available. And, 
We've got activities all the time. We've got games every night, card games, 31, or Mexican train, or various games. What everybody, anyone wants to play, you know, we can always get a group together to play it. Our campouts consist of most of them go out to eat one night, and then another night they'll have a potluck and a campfire and play cards, and they try to do something that's in the area. They try to attend an activity in the area. Um, there's all kinds of, it's camaraderie is what it is. People will come to a rally and they'll say, I don't want to get the food, I just want to come and visit with the people. They don't want to pay a fee, and I tell them that the camaraderie is what they're paying. We have potlucks, we eat a lot. Uh, there's, there's something for everybody to do. People who like to hike find other hikers and bikers the same thing. And uh, some ladies do crafts and uh, it's not difficult to find people who like to do the same things you do. And it's, uh, uh, it's just camaraderie. about Lowe's from a friend who uh, subscribes to one of the magazines that Lowe's advertise in and I was real anxious to get information and they were real good at sending it to me quickly and I couldn't wait to get involved and I've met some really nice people on this trip and I'm looking forward to many others. I, surf, I was surfing the internet I was just kind of you know messing around on the internet and there were singles campers or something like that on Google and uh, Lowe's came up and I read about it and it sounded like it might be kind of interesting. I first read about Lowe Club in the newspaper and I went to visit a camp out and the people were very friendly, very nice. It was in northern Illinois, they call themselves Illinois Loafers and they were very uh, welcoming and it was a cool day but they had a campfire going and I was invited into everybody's rig, because at that time I didn't have an RV. So I was invited into everybody's rig to see how they lived. And um, they answered all my questions. 